So here's an issue I noticed right off the bat. Hey guys, welcome to another Tesla Tainment video where I go on a road trip from the Bay Area to San Diego in my Tesla Model Y. Along the way, I'll explore the best charging stations, I'll talk about the pros and cons of road tripping in a Tesla, and at the end, I'll share with you the total cost of the trip. So buckle up and let's hit the road. Good morning. So it's currently 7.49 a.m. right now, and I'm about to start to drive from the Bay Area back to San Diego. Um, I was back in town for Thanksgiving, and I was staying at my mom's place, and she doesn't have an outlet where I can charge the car. Um, so I'm currently starting off the road trip with 80% in the battery or 52 miles left in the charge. So not the best start, but um, I feel like it's a very realistic situation. Okay, so it's gonna have me stop at four superchargers. The first one in Dublin, where I'll charge for 30 minutes. The second one at Harris Ranch, will charge for 25. Then at Tejon Ranch, and then at Irvine. Then I'll eventually be back in San Diego. Um, so I, the only thing I would change here is that I want to stop. I'll probably skip Harris Ranch and stop at Kettleman Supercharger. I want to check out that spot. All right, guys, coming up on the first supercharging stop at Dublin, California, and I'm currently at seven percent battery. It's having me charged there for 30 minutes. Okay, this is a pretty nice supercharging stop location. There's a Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, Falafel Flame, so a lot to offer here. Okay, charge is starting and it's telling me it's gonna take 45 minutes. It's a bit longer than expected. It says it's gonna take 30 minutes. It's a 150 kilowatt max charger and it's currently charging me 60 cents per kilowatt hour, which is pretty expensive, actually. This is the only, I'm the only car at the supercharger station right now. It's currently nine slots here. And yep, yeah, there is a Target just over there. So I might run in there and get some coffee while I wait for the car to charge. Oh wow, check this out. It's a Tesla Model Y. I didn't know Target sells this. Should I buy this? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so I'm back to my car and there's one more car part next to me. Pretty clean, I like that paint job. A wrap job. So here's an issue I noticed right off the bat. This station is labeled 150 kilowatts max, but the most I've been able to get was 72 kilowatts. So um, I've been checking the charge rate throughout the, when I was in Target and it never went past 72. So I think this is mislabeled and is adding extra time to the trip, which is, um, which is pretty annoying because then I could have stopped at a faster supercharging station. I'm gonna spend an additional maybe 15, 20 minutes here than anticipated, than the first estimation. So um, that's a bit frustrating. It is now 9.12 and I have enough to continue the trip. So let's get going. Hey guys, I got another 18 minutes until the next supercharging station stop at Harris Ranch and it wants me to charge there for 25 minutes. Although I want to stop by the Kettleman Ranch supercharging station just because it's one of the few chargers that have a lounge, a store, and a coffee shop. So I'll check that out. Sign for Tesla charging and check that out. Is that another station? Looks like they're adding more chargers, but it's still under construction. So this stop has a bunch of restaurants, has a ranch, has gas stations and a couple stores. So I'm roughly two, two and a half hours into the road trip. So far, I'm not feeling too bad. An auto probably made the car super easy drive. Got my, I had a coffee, finished it. All right, there's enough charge to continue the trip. So 
All right, here it is. The station has solar panels. It's got the lounge, it's got restrooms. This is what I want to see. S150 and 250 charging. The last time I was here, the lounge was actually closed because of COVID. So I'm pretty excited to actually get to go inside and check it out. There's an actual cafe here. Check out the menu. Vending machine with food, a coffee machine. There's also a bunch of places to sort of sit and lounge around and wait for your car to charge. The decor and atmosphere reminds me of walking into like a Tesla service center. I got myself a latte and I'm gonna go sit down and get some work done. To get the full lounge experience, I'm going to get some food from the vending machine. I got the Southwest style chicken wrap. It looks pretty good, but let's see how it tastes. Here goes the first bite. It's not bad, the flavor's good, the greens are fresh, but some parts of the tortilla is a bit too moist. This costs about $6, and with that price, I'd rather go to In-N-Out across the street. There's also an outdoor picnic area. Alright, so my car is done charging, so it's time to hit the road. $16 at Kellerman City Supercharging Station. And the next stop is three hours away and 181 miles. So this, is the, this will probably be the longest leg of the trip and let's get going. Teslas are some of the best cars to road trip in, even though it takes way longer to charge a car's battery than to fill up a gas tank. The reason I'm saying that is because this car has so many features that makes the driving experience comfortable and easy and sometimes enjoyable. One of those features is navigating autopilot where it will literally change freeways for you. Not to mention that the seats in this car are absolutely comfortable. I also love the sound system in this car. There are a lot of subtle things that add up to making it a great driving experience. All right, coming up on the last supercharging stop. This stop is an outdoor mall, so there's a bunch of shopping and food, and I went for a stroll to find a restroom, of course. The charging stations are tucked away behind the stores. And there's one more minute of charging before I can continue the trip. Hour and 48 minutes left. All right guys, last leg of the trip. And there's just a ton of traffic. This drive me nuts. Got about 33 minutes left to go 11 miles. Jesus Christ. All right, finally back home. All right, everyone, uh, I finally made it back home. It's currently 6.33 p.m. And I think I left around 8 a.m. So it's roughly 10 and a half hours I've been out here uh, driving. Yeah, I would say the thing that took the longest was the traffic. Once hit LA and San Diego, there's a bunch of traffic on the freeways. Um, I'm sort of guessing people just come back to Thanksgiving still, uh, but that was kind of crazy. I'm um, pretty beat, so um, I'll edit the cost of charging and stuff so far. Let's see how much this trip cost me. 
I started the drive with only 80% battery, so I had to charge four times. If the battery was full, I would probably only stop to charge two or three times. So in total, I spent $79.39 to charge the car. And it took me 10 hours and 44 minutes to complete the drive. Which is pretty long, and of course stopping and charging did add to the trip, but the LA traffic definitely added a lot of time to the trip too. Thanks for watching, and drop a follow if you want to see more Tesla videos.